This is Dion Cole Pioneers. In this video, I'll be talking about why you might not even need a backup server for your live stream here on YouTube. I've been getting tons of questions about backup servers. Um, people want to set up backup servers, but they might not even need a backup server. So just to eliminate some of this uh, confusion out here, we're going to just jump right into my backup server on YouTube. I use Vulture. And of course, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and hit the little bell notifications icon so you can get notified of when I drop videos just like this. So the first thing I'm going to do here is just jump into uh, the, the server here by hitting the view console icon, this first icon here. And it's going to take me just right to the desktop here of the server. And if I minimize uh, OBS here, you can see it just looks like a regular Windows desktop. Um, like you can install Google Chrome and iTunes and Discord. And so just like a, a regular computer, um, you would set up OBS like you would your primary server. Um, a server is just a computer that you can access remotely, right? So you set it up just like you would your primary server with your, your video, your audio, and any overlays or scrolling text that you would have in these sources um, section here on uh, OBS. And you just want to stream this to uh, YouTube's backup URL. Now, if you notice here right now, I don't even have this streaming to the backup server on YouTube. I haven't even started this stream. And that's why I say you might not even need a backup server because I don't use this all the time. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I might, I might even stop using Vulture altogether. Here's why you might need a, a backup server. Um, if the primary server goes down and there's going to be a long time before you can get it back up, then you might need a backup server. So there's a couple different things that happen when the primary server goes down. It could be that just um, the application like OBS has crashed and you just have to restart it or the system just ran out of memory. Maybe you have to just restart Windows Explorer. Or it could go down because um, the server just needs to be restarted altogether. And it may take hours to get that server back up. So if you don't want to go hours with your live stream down, then that's why you might need a backup server. But you may not need something like Vulture or a remote server to do that. You, you may want to just use a regular computer at home to do that but either way how would you set up a backup server right well uh, let's just hit the settings um button here in obs and let's see i want to see if i can zoom in here let's see if i can zoom in and i'm going to go to stream and here's the main thing here in OBS, you, when you select YouTube as the service that you want to stream to right underneath that, you're going to select whether you want it to stream to YouTube's primary uh, URL, um, which would be this top one or it's backup. So OBS really does all the work. You don't really have to do anything except select YouTube and select whether you're going to use the primary or the backup server. Now I haven't seen a setting like this on like something like Streamlabs um, over here, which is why I don't use Streamlabs. Um, but this setting is right here in the back of OBS. And then what you need is this streaming key. So let's see how all of this uh, uh, lines up in the uh, back end side of things on YouTube. If I go to the live stream and let me drag it over so you can see that here. Uh, on this live stream, 
um, there is the streaming key right there that we needed to put into OBS. And here you can see YouTube has a streaming URL, which this is for the primary server to stream to. And then this is the backup server URL that it streams to. So these three settings right here will match up to uh, what we saw here inside of OBS where you would select your backup and then the stream. And so again, OBS and YouTube kind of really, uh, they do all of this for you. You don't have to really think about this except for selecting um, the setting here. So now what's going on here is this, uh, this right here at the top, my main live stream or the primary server is now streaming to this uh, URL right here. If for whatever reason, the primary server goes down or OBS crashes, um, the live stream will continue. So just because the server goes down, uh, that does not mean your live stream is gonna go down. Your live stream will still be going. You'll still be streaming. But uh, what's going to happen is you're just going to see a blank screen or a frozen screen and no music or audio will be coming through here. So that could be a problem if it's going to be hours that is like that. <laughs> so my server has gone down. OBS has crashed on my primary server. It's gone down at times where, you know, sometimes it, it, I can get it back up within minutes and other times there have been that it was it took hours to get the server back up and running so i did have to use the backup server for that but i didn't necessarily i don't have to use vulture i could use just a computer at home to stream to this url here on youtube so i hope that clarifies some things um there's really not a lot to it because youtube and OBS is doing all of the work behind the scenes. All you need to do is just select backup server in OBS and it'll automatically um, stream to this URL as long as it has this key that you gave it. Now, the only um, thing here that um, kind of makes this difficult is there is really no um, feature in YouTube that allows you to switch uh, between these two um, streams, which is why I don't have the backup server going all the time. There are times where the backup server um, would just take over the primary server just on its own without the primary server going down. And so there's no way to just a flip a button where you're either on one or the other uh, because YouTube is doing the work behind the scenes. Sometimes it'll just select which URL that is on, like almost like which one has the strongest signal. So that is one thing that I've seen dealing with um, the, the live stream here. But other than that, it's pretty easy. So I hope that clarifies the backup server um confusion out there if you have any questions drop them down there in the comments uh leave me some comments on, on what are you using uh, for a backup server have you found another service that might be better than vulture are you using just like a laptop an old laptop at home to just use as a backup let me know in the comments and if you like this video give me a thumbs up hit that like button and i will see you in the next video.